what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to show you how you can create your own uh, custom presets own title animation or lower third animation and save it as a template so we're going to create an animation so if you right click in the media tab uh, we have the ability to import or use some pre-installed it from templates um, so we're going to create our one of our own animations and i'm going to save it inside this uh inside this window so uh whenever you want to use it you can just simply access it through this through this uh, window right here all right so uh, we're gonna start creating our animation so let's create a new composite shot and we're gonna call this um, title animation and uh, i'm gonna go with 1080p and uh, duration i'm gonna set this to five seconds and for the frame rate i'm gonna go with 25 and click on OK then we'll create a new text layer and uh, we can just type in our text here select the text and I'm gonna using I'm using Gilroy font or Gilroy what do you want to call it just use any font that you want I'm gonna change the font weight and I'm also going to go to layout tab and click on these two icons to center the text just like that I'm going to rename this layer to primary text all right i'm going to duplicate this and just bring this down i'm going to rename this to secondary text all right and just use the section tool and just bring this text down like that select the text tool and just change it to something else so i'll do something like subtitle um, select the text and go to the text tab i'm going to change the font weight to light all right so there we have it and we can also decrease the font size for this as well uh, it's completely up to you um, use the selection tool and just bring this right over here all right so um, let's create a new plane layer and i'm going to call this matte click on ok the color won't matter you can just pick any color i'm going to put the top edge of this layer right in between these two texts so we will hide this matte layer for now we don't want that to be visible now we'll create a simple animation so let's go to primary text transform and let's move maybe 30 frames forward um, and for some reason my the duration has changed to 12 i don't know why i just want it to be five seconds long all right so go 30 frames forward create a position keyframe Let's go back to the very first frame and just change the position. So it's gonna come from bottom and do something like that. So now as you can see our animation, it doesn't look uh, really great. So let's just select these two keyframes, convert the keyframes to manual bezier, then go into value graph. With the shift key and just drag this handle all the way to the left. And that way you'll be able to create some more smoother animation. I want to create an out animation as well so let's just go to three second mark I'm going to copy these keyframes and hit ctrl V and paste those keyframes now all we have to do is just swap these two keyframes swap their positions and now you have your out animation as well so now it's going to do that and then it's going to go back to its original place Right, so we do similar thing with our secondary text as well so go to transform let's move 30 frames forward create a position keyframe let's move back and just move the position to the top create a, a convert the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and we'll just select the second handle and just drag it all the way to the left let's go to three second mark convert these uh, or select these keyframes copy and then control V to paste these keyframes and then basically just swap the positions there we have it All right so now we'll just uh, apply the set matte effect to hide our layers so you can see that they are already visible from the beginning I uh, want to reveal them so let's apply the set matte effect good controls set the source layer to mat and set the blend to subtract let's copy this set matte effect and apply it on secondary text layer 
and on this one we just have to just click on this inward option all right so now if you play this animation this is what we have created so far now I want to save this animation as a preset so for that uh, what you have to do is just uh, publish these two text layers so in, in hit film 12 uh, we have a new feature called publish uh, we can just access it by right clicking on the text layer and uh, we have this option right here that says publish so when you click on that we get this uh, icon right over here and that means that you have published this layer uh, if you want to unpublish it just again right click and click on unpublish so we all will just uh, uh, publish these two text layers and now these text layers will be accessible on your editor timeline now we not only the text layer we can also publish effects as well so if we want to apply some kind of effect we can just go to just apply any effect so something like blur so let's just apply that and we can publish uh, the radius so if I right click on this effect and you see we have the publish option right here as well to save it as a preset what we can do is uh, we can go to our media tab right click on this composite shot the title animation composite shot then you have to click on save as so uh, going to save it as a title animation we can rename it to whatever we want so I'm going to save it into my new folder and call this title animation click on save and we can also choose a thumbnail for this so let's just quickly uh, use this thumbnail so I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I'll just go to options and click on export frame save it in this new folder and call this thumbnail and now I can just again click on save as save it in new folder click on save and uh, choose a thumbnail like that and click on save now to access it in the in the install templates window let's go back to our edit timeline and drag in our video into the timeline Now to use this title animation right click on it and click on import and click on composite shot and then just browse for the location where you saved your composite shot in my case it's in desktop new folder click on title animation and once you import it you can see it's uh, available right over here but if you right click on it and click on import install templates you'll see if you scroll down it's it will be also available in this window right here as well so um, you can just delete this and now you can access it from the import install templates and there you have your title animation and now we can simply drag in this animation onto the timeline you can see we are doing this all in the editor timeline go to controls and then you have the ability to edit the primary text and the secondary text so that is how we can easily create templates and save them as a preset uh, using the publish effect in the hitfilm express 12 version so i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one